Today in this video, let me show you how to load data from your FTP or SFTP file locations to your data warehouse such as Amazon Redshift, Snowflake, or Google BigQuery using Hevo. We're on the Data Pipeline Overview page. I'll click Create Pipeline. With Hevo, you can bring data from a wide array of sources. I'll select my source, in this case, FTP. You can configure a new source by providing the FTP location details or load the settings from an existing one. For a new connection, you need to provide a unique name for your source. Next, select the location type, FTP or SFTP. I'll choose SFTP for this demo. Enter the host name, port number, username, and password. In case the password isn't provided, you can add Hevo's public key provided here to your SFTP server. The prefix option here tells Hevo the path from which data is to be fetched. By default, the files are listed from the root of the directory. With Hevo, you can load data in CSV and JSON file formats. For this demo, let me load the settings from an existing source. Let me call this SFTP demo. If your files on the SFTP server are gzipped, then you can select this option. Let me keep it checked. If you want to create an individual table on the warehouse for each of the folders available inside your path directory, then select the Create Schema from Folder option. If you don't select this, then Hevo will assume that all of the files in the subdirectories have the same schema. Let me keep this checked too. Next, select the destination warehouse where you want to move the data. I'll select Redshift. The pipeline is created. In a few minutes, all the data from the SFTP location will start streaming into Redshift in real time. Let me show you a sample incoming event. This event contains the order details for a store. It contains the order ID, order date, ship date, and a lot more details about each order. Now that the data is streaming, you'll have to map the incoming data to a Redshift table in the destination. Let's go to the Schema Mapper. Observe how Hevo automatically detects the source tables and schema from your SFTP source. Hevo intelligently infers the schema and data types from the unstructured incoming event. It also suggests the closest data types to which the source can be mapped at the destination side, so that you don't have to do any of that manually. You can also override this if you wish. You can map the data to an existing Redshift table or create a new one. Let me add a new table and call it Uploads SFTP. Let me add Row ID to be the primary key and hit Create Table. Now, I can map the data to a destination table with just a click of a button. I'll click Create Mapping. And that's it! Your data will start moving from SFTP to Redshift. Now, if you want to do advanced things, like transform the data in real time, you can easily do that with Hevo's transformations. Say you want to move the orders that were placed after a specific date, or filter data for a specific product category. You can write simple Python scripts within transformations to do that. Let me add a script to filter out all the products from the furniture category, and not load that data into the warehouse. Using this preview window, you can test your script on a sample event, and only then deploy. Let me load a sample event to test this. Since the category is office supplies, the data will be loaded. Let's test this on another event. Since the product category here is furniture, data will not be loaded. Once I hit deploy, this transformation will be applied to all the future incoming events in the pipeline. Let me deploy it. If there are any exceptions, such as the destination not being available, or changes in the data type of an incoming event, all such records go into a staging area called the replay queue. You are notified of exceptions in real time over Slack and email. You can also get the details of the exceptions and can view sample incoming events to investigate further. Once you fix the issues, you can reprocess just these events from the replay queue, thus ensuring zero data loss. Let me hit Replay. Let's see how this data is reflected in Redshift. In Models, you can write a simple SQL query to view the data in Redshift. Let me create a model and choose Redshift as the destination. 
let me add a query to view all the data in the SFTP data table. Let's run this query. And there's the result. The data has been loaded from SFTP to Redshift. In a similar fashion, you can load the data from FTP and many more data sources on Hevo. Head over to your Hevo account and move data from SFTP or FTP to a destination warehouse of your choice. Write to us at try at hevodata.com for any queries. Thank you.